What's up everyone, Easygoing MC back with another snapshot review. This week is 21W07A and I am very excited with the changes today. So let's get right into it. First things first, there are 16 new blocks added to the game and this is Grimstone as well as three different variants as well as a slab, stair, and wall that go along with each of those variants. And I gotta say guys, this is a really, really nice texture. Very, very happy with how this looks. This one specifically just looks, oh, this looks amazing. We don't really have a texture or color, color combination like this yet, so this is a huge addition to the game. So first, this is the normal Grimstone variant, and that comes in a slab, wall, and stairs as well. The craft all of these, some of the crafting recipes aren't added, but I imagine it will function similarly to a Blackstone, where you can kind of craft all of them within the stone cutter and crafting table, but it looks like the recipes haven't been added yet. Next up is the polished variant, which looks something like this, and that also comes in a slab, stair, and wall. Also looking very, very cool. Next, we got the bricks, which is essentially a copy of the stone brick textures, just in this different color of a little bit more noise going on. Also looking amazing with all the variants right here. And finally, as I already said, this is my personal favorite, the Grimstone tiles looking absolutely amazing. And it also comes in a chiseled variant as well, which looks something like this, which also looks very, very cool. I can't really depict anything that's chiseled into it, but that's also a very, very nice texture as well. So there's actually 17 blocks added. Now you may be wondering where this stuff generates, and that of course is in the deepest part of the caves, which is down below. And let me just give myself some night vision real quick, and we'll phase down into the cave generations where there were some more changes. So as you can see, if we come over here, the Grimstone now generates instead of stone in these very, very low parts. Um, in fact, stone will actually not generate nearly as far down anymore. And what on earth is this? I'm not sure what this block is. Let's go into survival and test it out. This is not listed in the uh, patch notes, actually. Gold ore. Gold ore got a texture update. Oh man, that looks so cool. I had no idea that was a change, as you can tell by my current surprise. But Grimstone will generate in the lower caves. As you can see, as we go back up, the stone begins to generate again. And this actually brings me into the next changes, um, which of course relates to ore generation. So obviously in the last snapshot, ore generation still match 1.16, so nothing was really generating below Y0. Now, however, what we're going to find is that Emerald and whatnot is at the very, very top of the world and spawn in within the mountains. And then we find iron and copper, which are kind of like in the first half of the surface. So you're not really going to find any iron or copper down here. You actually have to go farther back up. Uh, the Y64, the Y0, the exception being is iron will generate at the top of mountains. And then down at the very, very bottom of the world, so way down here below zero is where you're not going to be able to find things like diamonds, lapis, gold, and redstone in huge quantities and then, and last but not least, certainly is coal, which will basically generate from the tippy top points of all mountains all the way down to Y0, but it won't really exist in these deep, dark sections of the caves, which I imagine eventually is where we're going to find the Warden. And I just read, again, actually, that ores without unique shapes have given new textures. So things like redstone now have a new texture. And we can take a look at those. I think they look beautiful. So looking at this, we can kind of pull all of these out if we want. And yeah, looking at that, looks amazing. Loving these textures. They're all unique now. Not all the same. Diamond, of course, stays the same. You can't change diamond. But yeah, overall, these new ores are looking amazing, guys. And of course, the last thing that got a touch up is, of course, the blackstone. And this is the blackstone block, the polished blackstone block, as well as the cracked variant. So taking a look at these, yeah, they look slightly different, but kind of remain that same look and haven't changed too much. Moving on to the creative inventory, the only thing that changed in this update is of course the redstone tab has shuffled. In the past, like your essentials were down here, but then now they've moved your essentials and your activators and then some other activators down here and then just some open all things, etc. Like doors and all that, because it used to be a bunch of doors right at the top and you had to scroll down the redstone. And then a bunch of fix bugs, of course, uh, are also um, added, which none of them are too too huge at all. But overall, you can read those in the snapshot notes, which I will link down below. 
Overall, guys, this is a very, very cool update. I'm very, very excited so far. These tripstone caves are looking amazing. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm very, very close to 1,000 subs. I'm currently at about 830, and I'd really appreciate to get that extra push to 1,000 subs. So you guys know what to do. Hit that sub button. Check out my other videos like farms and tutorials on my channel, as well as my Let's Play. And yeah, guys, hope you have an easygoing day, and I will catch you all later. Bye.